Hi, in 2017 I've decided that I'm going to really up my game when it comes to vlogging. In order to do that though, I've had to look at the equipment that I use. In today's video, I'm going to show you my entire vlogging and filmmaking kit for 2017. I've decided that I wanted quite a small compact kit, something that I can carry everywhere with me, take on board if I ever go on a plane, um, in chucking the car quickly, but also something that if I need to whip something out and film something very quickly, that I can also do so without having to get lots of bits and pieces out and put it all together. Everything right from the DSLR is as small as I could possibly find with the highest possible quality. So, watch the rest of the video and I'll show you today everything that I'm going to be using in 2017 and give you an idea of the price ranges in which you can go out and get the same type of kit. Let's get into the video. So, the first thing that I'm going to show you actually is my tripod because the tripod is going to be a really, really important thing because more and more people are using DSLRs now for shooting their videos. Um, one of the difficulties being is it's hard um, to use as a selfie stick because there usually isn't the, the tripods are obviously quite big, as you can see. So, the reason I've gone with this particular tripod, this is a little bit more pricey, but there are others available on eBay and whatnot, but I'll put a link in the description to everything today. This is a Monfrodo, and the reason I've selected this one is because this part here, this actually pulls out, and it then acts as a selfie stick. Um, as you can see with the end, um, you've got the ball socket joint, so you're able to tilt it so that the camera is looking back at you. Um, which is really, really useful if you're just out and about and you want to do some um, random vlogging. Um, but not only that, but this particular tripod, even if you decided to use the tripod with the legs and you wanted to carry it about, they fold up really, really small and um, it's, it's super, super light. I mean, the, there literally is nothing to that. So... If you're going to vlog, uh, you're going to need lots of these um, Canon batteries. Now, I'm filming currently using the Canon 100D. The reason I'm using the Canon 100D is because it is the smallest DSLR that I could find that gives the highest possible output when it comes to video. Now, I've got a 24mm lens on here, uh, which has an f-stop of 2.8. So it's particularly good in low light. However... You'll also need some spare lenses, and I've decided that I'm going to go with the Canon uh, 50mm lens. Now, the autofocus doesn't work so well on this particular lens, on the 50mm, as it does on the 24 Um I'm not using the tripod or my gimbal at the moment, so my hand footage is quite shaky, so I apologise for that. But you're going to want spare lenses. Um, you're going to need spare lenses, so absolutely invest in getting a spare lens of some description. Um, now, there is a kit lens that comes with this particular camera, um, and you're going to want a bag. In the bag, you'll find this. So that there is the... Um, kit lens that comes with it, which is 18 to 55. Now the only this is great, um, but the autofocus isn't great on it. Although it does have a stabilizer built in, which is actually quite good. Um, so if you don't mind using the manual zoom, then you can use that. Now the other thing I will say with this as well, in low light, it's not particularly great. Um, but again, it's not meant to be. Um, it does shoot macro, as you can see there, from 0.8 feet. Um, and one thing I will say actually is if you're outdoors and you're going to use the zoom, it is excellent. So for a, for a kit, lenders, kit lens, as far as kit lenses go, it is actually quite good. And if you want to take photographs with it, it is, it is pretty awesome. This I'd use for more portraits if you're going to... This is great actually if you want to start shooting um, lots of Instagram um, type photos. It's just brilliant, shallow depth of feel. Um, if you can't afford a DSLR... Then I've shot lots of vlogs on this, and um, this is my iPhone 5S. Um, most Android phones will work just as well. Um, the great thing about the Apple phones, though, is I really, really like editing with um, iMovie, so that's um, an excellent kit. The microphone on the iPhone is actually fairly decent. Um, it won't give you the greatest quality ever, won't give you the greatest quality ever but what you will find with um with this it will give you fairly decent audio if you're indoors agp tech 
make this wonderful little thing um, that I'm wearing right now, uh, which is a lavalier microphone. But again, that would cost me £7.99 and I found that on Amazon. I'll put a link in below to that as well. Or if you can get yourself a decent set of um, headphones, like these Sony ones that I've got that cost me about £25 um, from a supermarket, and they come with the, um, it's important to note that you've got to get the one with the free stripes because that's going to work in your mobile phone. Um, but they come with a microphone attached as well. And the microphone in this is surprisingly good. And I have, again, I've used it a few times. Um, the only problem is I find I have to have the headphones in in order to keep it still because um, it does rustle around quite a little bit. Not like the lavalier I'm using right now, which allows me um, to clip it to my top. Now, if we are in low light situations, there may be times when I use this, um, which is a lamp, um, which gives me a lot of light. This is a chargeable one though, with a DC adapter, so it's not, it's not ideal in most circumstances, um, because if I'm gonna go out filming for a long time, um, then it's a bit problematic, but it is super bright and it is excellent for a fill light. And it attaches via the hutch there where I can just clip it to the top. If you want to go a little bit um, more extreme, then you can buy one of these LED lights. Now, the great thing about this LED light is on the back, you've got um, a knob on the back which allows you to adjust the amount of light and it is battery operated and batteries these days are pretty cheap. So you can go out and buy a ton of batteries and that'll cost you very little. And it does actually last surprisingly long. And there's a little button on the back, which you can press, which tells you how much battery you have left. It's half left on that, and that's been used quite a bit. If you are gonna be filming using your mobile phone, um, you're gonna to wanna to get yourself a mobile phone tripod um, with a decent holder in the top. Now, this thing here I got has got the foam legs, so it's quite flexible. It can wrap around things. Um, it's got the jaw on the top, uh, which locks in most size phones. I've tried it with my Huawei P9, um, and it fits that, and that's quite a big phone. It's got a five inch screen or thereabouts. And then it also is just small enough as well for my iPhone 5S to fit in. Um, so that is a handy piece of kit. Now, if you haven't got a tripod, it also, if you hold it like this, it does allow you to keep fairly steady footage. Um, as I said, I'm using the Canon 100D at the moment, but we've got a Canon, there is a Canon 550. Now, the difference between the 550 and the one that I'm using isn't a great deal. I do find though that some of the video options on my 100D are slightly better. Um, a couple of reasons, one, it's touchscreen, so it allows me to change things very, very quickly with very little hassle. And um, this is more um, button operated, so there's, it's a little bit fiddlier, um, but it's okay. You know, it, it does the job and it films just as well as this one. It's just a little bit fiddlier, that's all. Um, and again, you can pick these up now at a very reasonable price and that's got another 50 mil lens on because we like those. Um, I'll uh, snap a picture in a moment of the 100D. And again, I'll put links in below. I think I got mine from Amazon um, and they do them exceptionally um, good prices there. Um, Next up, I've got a GoPro Hero. Now, I've got to admit, I've tried a few different types of GoPros and I still keep coming back to this. I don't know why, it, sound quality wise, it's great. Battery life is fantastic. The battery seems to last way longer on this than the others. Um, probably because it's using less, you know, it's got a lesser sensor in it and whatnot, but the battery lasts ages in it. Um, and the color vibrancy when you're shooting outdoor stuff is just great. And obviously that comes with the waterproof back door as well. We've got GoPro Hero 4, uh, which films in 4K. The only, the only downside to having a 4K camera is if your PC or laptop can't edit 4K video, you're gonna jump into problems straight away. And, um, do we actually really watch things in 4K, especially on YouTube? Because although it allows you to upload 4K video and it does appear to be much sharper, I believe the bit rate um, has a lot to do with that. Um, one of the little cheats around that I've noticed is if you upload 
it. If you save a 1080 raw video as a 4K video and then upload it at a higher bit rate, I've noticed a slight increase in the quality of my YouTube videos when I've uploaded them. Maybe placebo, but I, I actually think that works. I'm not really going to upgrade my gear to 4K just yet. Um, not until everyone's pretty much doing it and until the computers and until the computers can really deal with it so you're going to want to pack of batteries they're going to be really super important um i think we've touched on pretty much everything that i've got that i'm going to be using um the only other thing is as well you're going to need a laptop now you don't need to go and spend thousands on a laptop either that is a toshiba satellite um which has got a fairly decent graphics card in it it's got a um if I can focus in on it, I've got a Core i5 V Pro um, inside, and it's got an oak, it's got a pretty decent Nvidia graphics card. Now, do you need that much equipment to go out vlogging? Absolutely not. Which is why I gave you a couple of different options. The mobile phone, your, your iPhone is great. The only thing with the iPhones or any phones actually is the sound quality can be a little bit drab. So one of the things you might want to invest in is actually just a lavalier microphone. Now, one of the other things that I will say is have multiple pieces of kit if you can, because you never know what you might want to shoot. And do invest in getting something other than a kit lens if you are going to use a DSLR, because you will find yourself becoming very frustrated when you try to shoot anything in low light. So if I could give you one word of advice, first of all, would be to go out and get a wide angle lens. Now, a lot of people are going for the 10 to 18 millimeter wide angle lens, which again is great, if you're shooting like a lot of outdoor stuff or things that are well lit. I found though, as soon as I started going into clubs, because I do a lot of music stuff or I come into my studio, then it can be a little bit grainy. So with the 24 mil, that gives me down to 2.8. With reasonable, reasonable-ish lighting, I can get a really good quality um, image in post when I dim out the blacks and I make things a little bit more vibrant. If I wanted to go super, super low light, then I'm looking at something with an SF of 1.8, which is why I use the 50 mil. The only problem with the 50 mil is you're shooting super close up. So I'll put a link in the description to everything that I've used um, for all my coming videos, and then you'll get to see as we do the series exactly what each one looks like, how it compares in various different situations. And I'll be doing everything from just general music vlogs if you're interested in those. We run a record label, so we get to shoot lots and lots of music videos. I'll teach you how to do all of those. Um, we do a lot of photography shoots. We do a lot of everything. So any type of thing that can be recorded both audibly, audibly, I think I just made that word up. If it's audio based, if it's video based, and if it's photography based, we're gonna cover everything. So stay tuned and hit the subscribe button if you're interested in all of those things. And um, we really look forward to seeing you um, in all our future videos. So thank you very much, bye.